exciting. That day is a day of revelation. You can't miss it. Thank you, Caris Bible College. This is my place to be. Yes, Caris Bible College invites you to the Caris Open Campus Days on Friday, the 30th of August, from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. And on Saturday, 31st of August, from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Pakrio Mall, 5th floor along Buganda Road. Caris Bible College will be open to you, a pastor, an evangelist, a church minister, or just a businessman or woman. Come explore Caris, the atmosphere of love and God's word. Mark the dead. This is an appointment with God. Caris Bible College, taking the gospel as far and as deep as possible. Andrew Mac Ministries and Caris Bible College Uganda invites you to enroll for the 2025 school in tech for both our campuses in Kampala or in Imbara City. Please apply online on our website, carisuganda.net, or visit our head office at Park Royal Mall, 6th floor, along Buganda Road. For more inquiries, please call us on 0200-33-0000. Caris Bible College, taking the gospel as far and as deep as possible. Welcome to Gospel Truth with Andrew Womack, a teaching ministry that focuses on God's unconditional love and grace. All these things we strive for and work for and hope for and pray for, we already have those things because Jesus gave it all to us. And now, here's Andrew. Welcome to our broadcast of the Gospel Truth. This week I'm teaching on the power of partnership. And the first two days of this week, it's been primarily introduction. And I've just been talking against rotten attitudes about ministers talking about money. And I know that that is a touchy subject. There's probably a lot of people. I can hear televisions clicking off all around the world because here's a preacher on television. Talking about money, and there's just a Judas attitude about, you know, Judas, when that woman showed her devotion by pouring this expensive ointment on Jesus' feet and wiping. And Jesus. His feet with her hair. Judas said, This should have been sold and the money taken and given to the poor. And it says that he didn't say that because he cared anything about the poor. It's because he was a thief and he wanted the money that was in the bag. And you know there is just a there is a spirit of antichrist. That fights against everything moral and good and certainly preachers uh, inaccurately and for the wrong motives taught on finances to manipulate people into giving to them and I know that that happens but there is a truth about prosperity and a truth specifically about partnership. So like I said, for the first two days of this week, I've been primarily countering that spirit of Antichrist that comes against ministers talking about money. And it's 
And I, regardless of what you may think, I am preaching on this because it benefits you. Nurecho sifa yu chicho uroza na ye, e, chisonga rwachi, chino chikusomesa, kubanga manyiti chiku yamba gwe. And you need to know these truths. This is an area of your life. Money is important. Ate nga mazima gano teke doga manya, kubanga gano ge mazima genyini, sente nuba nange za mugaso. You know, money is not everything, but I guarantee you, you can't do anything without money. You need money. Umanyika nkubuli de sente siye bulichimu. Na ya ate, tosobola kola bulichimu chone watali sente. Weta agira dara sente. I've had a, I heard a guy on radio one time who branded me, called my name and called me a health wealth preacher. Na ulita kumu omuami omu, e yampuli ya kuredio, Era na na mtu manerinya, nerinya la nginari ya tuida dara, nga mpita antizendio muweleza, uwobula mu, atero uwebi mfuna. Which I consider to be a, a compliment. I mean, why would you want to preach on sickness and poverty? Zeno muna nge na chitu waranga, okunsi ima, luwachi kubanga, luwachi mba mvayo kubuli la kundu ade, nubu avu. Uh, but anyway, he was using it in a derogatory way. Na emu nange kale yali inga achogira mungiri ya kubalata. And called my name, this was on radio, and then right after his radio program was over. Nga wayo gere rinyari yange, na ye programu ye yoku radio wa yali inga ya kagwa. They came on with Christian news and they talked about this man, that exact preacher that had. Ba yo gira maulide, nga go gira kumusajja yomu, omuwele zono. Talked against not only me, but all health, wealth preachers. And he had moved in to, I forget the exact amount, but it was millions and millions of dollars. He had just moved into his brand new home that had an indoor Olympic sized swimming pool. Kati omusajyo na mwole ne gagama antino ya lia haka ingile nyumba ye nga ya milioni na milioni za dola. E nyumba eno nti ya lina nechi sawe chomunda nga elina swimming pool nga mbutufe nyumba ya bayi dala sente nyinji. And I think it was somewhere around 8 million dollars. E nyumba ndo za yalimu milioni e za dola munana. I live in a 60,000 dollar home. Na ye nzendo msaje wa tuguari ko nga nesu lila munyumba ya mitualo mukaga eja dola. That I built 30 something years ago. Now we've e yone nyumba no na jizimba e miaka asatu e mabega. Added to it and, and put siding on it. It's, it's worth more than that now. But I'm saying that's what I paid for it. Chitufu tuji chusiza chusiza tujiga seke bintu binji na ye nga chenku gama anti ya wade ya chuka nyo na ya tenge irezo ze sente ze na jisusasura. I'm not using this money for just me and things. Nurecho katisiko yesa sente zino kubanga nze teka konze na bintu. But I do believe in prosperity. I believe it's part of what Jesus died to produce. Na enze nzikiriza mbugaga rwachi kubanzi kiriza daranti chechi tundu tundu checho yesu echa echa mtu wala na faku musara ba abenga atu wachino. And so anyway, let me get into talking specifically about partnership and how this benefits you. Nekale kantandiko genda darabu zibaka tinga njogera kubwega sibu ensimbi nengere jechi kugasa mugwe. In Philippians chapter 1 and verse 3. Bobo geza mchitapo chaba Filipi e chisoka onyirwa roku satu. Paul said, I thank my God upon every remembrance of you. Paula agamba mba Filipi yeso e chisoka satu. Nti neba za katonda wange buluwemba jukira. Now let me just stop right here and say that you know what? I'm a minister. I've been traveling. Kansoke nkume wanu nkugambe buwenti. Nti nzendi muwele za era ntambu denyo. For 51 years, I've been in hundreds, thousands of places, many different countries. E mia katano mugumunga ampereza ngeze mbifebye nja urubinji ama wanga agenja urumanji dala. And you know what? There's some places that every time I think about those meetings, the churches that I went to, the people that I met. Nenye zoku gamba mumia keju waluwe bifebye ndo woza ako ekanisa zemba demu kone mpereza muko. Man, I just praise God every time I think of them. But then there's other places. Mwono wenzjukile bifebi mwebio mutufu neneba za katoene mutendeleza kuruawe na yate waliwe bifebi dala. That man, I've tried to forget. It was a bad experience. Ngate bio ngeze zako kubiera bila kubanga bia nasanga yote bia hali biangu dala. I don't believe that Paul did this for every single person. He was writing to a special group of people. 
Nuracho zikiri zanti wano Paulo te ya chino te ya chiwandi ikida angaburi omu. Wabula ya chiwandi ikida abantu wa ulo. In Philippians and as I'll go through here and show you, I think it was because their partnership. Abadi mchitundu chino echaba Filipi. Ilani zikiri zanti chino nja chukula gama sawo. Na yeso nga luwaji chino yali achiwa, achiba wandi ikida. Kubanga bali, bali wamuna ye. Because of the way these people received him and not only personally received but enabled him to go and reach other people. Mungeri jeba mukiriza mwa abantu wano neba muaniriza ate se chochoka na ye nengeri jeba muyambanga koku imira wamuna ye ate okulaba angaba musindika okubanga sinka na abantu wabalala. So look at this, and again in verse 3, I thank my God upon every remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine for you all, making request with joy for your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now. Agamanti, aba Filipi ya musatu, orisoko satu, tineba za katonda wange buliruemba jukira, buliruemba sabira mwena, nsabanga zuju desanyo, oruo kubango, kufira dala kulubedebedi no kutu saka kano, muli wa muna ange, mumuli mugoku njiri. This word fellowship right here is the Greek word koinonia, and it literally means partnership. Iranga chitegeza buegasi. That's what the word means. He is thanking God for their partnership in the gospel from the very first day until now. And over in the fourth chapter, I'm going to uh, talk about some other scriptures before we get there, but in the fourth chapter you see that these people Atera bu ogenda musule yokuna anja kukwanga nkubulaga enyiri en, endala. Nemu lokuna wano otege nanti abantu bano. Supported him. Matter of fact, this was the only church that supported him after he left the local area. Ntibaha imirire wa muna ye mu bufunze eno ye kanisa yoka e ya sigalange imirira na ye bo yava mukolera mu kitundu echo mwe bali. Now it's one thing when a minister comes to a place and you give because you're in the service and you receive something or you go buy a product. And you give, but that is you in a sense paying for what you're getting. Kati okuyita muchogule echo kugama no banga owayo mu ngeri eyo na ye kugamba echo chiwera chesigamye kuchofuna but when you start giving na ate botandi ko kuwayo beyond what it cost for you to receive and you start giving so that the minister can go and share the gospel with somebody else now that's partnership you are a, you are giving beyond what it costs for you to receive and you are equipping that minister and sending them someplace else that's partnership okusukuruma gwe chofu na oba chogendo okufuna mu kitegeza achi nonti oba oli mubwega sino muwerezono oyimiride wa muna ye okumuwa nilira oba kuyimira na mu njiri obo musindika okutwale njiri eno atyo nono nanyo na jayi no kujitusa kati nno echo chebayita obwega si and this is what paul is talking about wonono paul chaleo gira ko wano he says, I thank God for you. These people were partners with him. And it says, let me just skip over here to Philippians chapter 4. I'm getting ahead of myself, but. That's the point that I'm making. He says in verse 15, Now you Philippians know also that in the beginning of the gospel, when I departed from Macedonia, no church communicated with me as concerning giving and receiving, but you only. For even in Thessalonica you sent once and again, that's old English, you sent twice unto my necessity. And then he says, I'm not saying this because I desire a gift but I desire fruit that may abound to your account. Ila yogera wano mba Filipi nya, aroku mineta anonti, era mwaba Filipi mumanyi, nga wena va e makedoni, nga antandi kukubuli renjiri, tewali kanisa, e ya sachimu na ange, mchigambo choku gaba, no kuwewa. Wabula, mwemwe ka, kubanga, era wena li, e, e, ne musesolonika, mwampereza, ebi okunyamba, emirundi ebiri.
Sogera chino kubanga njaga kufuna chirabo na ye nonya e chivala e che yongera kumuendo gwa mwe. Paul wasn't saying this because he had been benefited personally. Paul waita yongera chino mbu kubanga ye yali achifunye mu nyongo mtu. Even though that had happened, that wasn't his motivation. Ni wankubadecho chari chubade unatecho siche chari chimu wa manyi. In saying it, he was saying this because he wanted them to receive the full benefit, the fruit of their giving. Nechino mkuchogira, yali ya garanti abu bo aba filipi abawa, yali ya garaba funire dala omu guanyulo ogu jude, ogwe chivala, e chiva mkuwa kwa abwe. And he was praising God that these people had given not just because it had helped him, but because it was going to come back unto them, as I used the other day. Nurecho katia liye wa zakatonda, ntisiru wa kubanti ya bantu wa nukale wa wadeyo, na yoro kubanti chiba wadechi genda kubadira iranga, buena kuzi semabe kako wali. In Mark chapter 10, a hundredfold in this life. Mumako kumi, ntiba genda kufuna chikumi chikumi mubula mubuno. And so Paul was rejoicing because these people were his partners. They had given unto him even after he left. And Nurecho kati Paulo yali ayeba za katonda ngera sanyuka kubanga abantu bano balinga basa chimuna ye iranga bayimira na yimuli muguno bali bawaddeyo ne wankubaddenga yali abavuddeko. Paul said you were the only church that ever did this. Kubola Paulo ya gama anti mwemwe kakanisa e yakola chino. Did you know as bad as I think some things are in the body of Christ today we have fallen a long ways from the New Testament church. Omanyide dala nti ni wankuba denzi kilizanti ni waluwe bintu binji nyo e bigude mu, mu mulivu kwa kristo saa weno. Na ya ateka ankubulide tugude nyo okuva kukanise ya soka. But in this respect, I think that this is something that we are doing better than the New Testament church did. And that Paul said, Na ya ateka ankubulide bwe tutu kaka teate mubioku wayo atecho nyizo kugamba, teatecho chechi ntu. Echi mbibu tuko loburu nje nyo wakusinge kaniseri ya soka. Nurecho katono Paula agamba. That out of all of his travels, we don't know exactly how long he ministered. The scripture doesn't show us when he died. We have... Nti muntambula ze zona. Ebya wandi kwa tebitu jira yoburu nje. Oba e, ya tambulida banga chi elana vude chibo ya faa. Ne jesu tulaba tutubisoma busomi mbaibuli olumu. Extra biblical... Uh, information about that but as far as the scripture is concerned we don't know but it was probably 30 years or more of his ministry walowe bia wandikibwe bintu binji nyobe tusome bikwata ku bia wandikibwa nga bitulage ensongeyo na yate bwe tujja ku mu bible chikulaga ntino uh, yabera wo ndoze myake jisuka mwasatu mu bwere zabwe and during this period of time, he traveled the world. He, he did it at great expense to himself. He even had to make tents. In many places, work a secular job to support himself and the people that traveled with him. Ukulabanga abeza wa imirizo wala uweleza wa inaba antubo na biyatambula anga na bonti bako langa ni mikono jabwe. He was shipwrecked, he was beaten, he was put in prison. Ukulabanga antino ye sanga mungega yeri ato ya kubibwa bamu teka mkumakomera. Uh, and on and on it goes. Nebi ntubinji nyebi ya mutu kako na yola banti ya wayobyo na. And he gave up all of this and yet out of all of these people that he ministered to. Ya wayo byo na ila na bantu bo na bo na bo na bo na ya were za jibali the philippians were the only people that ever sent money to help him after he left the local area aba fili people ka be bantu aba muweleza ku sente zimuyamba nga mazo kuva mu kifecho che echabo che aba weleza nga mu i think that's tragic today we do better than that Hate nyizo kukamambu hatecho chari chibidala. Kubanga hate foruari la wachiri tukola koku oburu unji koku singa kao. Man, I've got partners. I've got 40, I think it's 43 or 44,000 partners that help me and help me to send the gospel all over the world. Nyizo kukamantino, ah, ninaba antubanji nyo, haba imirila nange mulimu gunogo kubu ulire njiri, nyinyizo kukamantino, nina, haba imirila nange mituale, nina, haba nyambo kuimirila nange mulimu gunogo kuwele ze njiri, ugo kujibu nya, nsiyo, na. Did you know that's better? Now, of course, we have a lot of 
different communication things today that they didn't have back then. There may be all other reasons for it, but I'm saying that that is one of the most tragic scriptures. Chitufu kare ntutu nzo gama ntino oruali rutu ine mpibintu ime mpuli ziganya binji nye bienja ule bitu yamba kuku bantu si tuuli ziganya na bantu wa bienja ulo chitufu nzo kubatu chiba singa ko na ya tena nzo kugama ntia chia wandiki wecho masima dana chia wandiki wa echina kuwali za dada. In my way of thinking in the Bible is Philippians chapter 4 verse 15 where he says they were the only people that ever gave money to Paul after he left the local area. They are the only people that partnered with him Mze mondoza anginyizo kugama antipa Filipi nya kuminatano china kuwaza dara kubango kuli anti apa Filipi beba antubo ka abaweleza paulo kusente na maimi ya na imu limu kukubu lile njiri boyalinga afude mchifecho chebali mu kubanga aweleza amu. And enabled him to go reach other people. Njira sente zuziba mweleza zeza amu yamba kukulabanga agendo kuma kutu kubantu abalala. And that's sad. But this is the reason that he rejoiced every time he thought of the Philippians for their fellowship or partnership in the gospel. The book of Philippians was written to Paul's partner. Wanabanti ejitapo chine chawa Filipi chawa andi ikibwa eliabu abantu wabai mirangane paulo muli muguno ogokubu lirenjiri. And I think it's important for us to recognize that because some of these scriptures that we use all of the time and we just apply it to every single person. Ndoza no nti ala chitu unji nyona fwa kuchite gira kubange pisede pisinge bia wandi ikibwa vino vituko zesa tubiko zesa kubuli muntu ye na. It really doesn't apply. Na yenga atete viko la webityo. Paul was writing to partners. For instance, look in the very next verse, Philippians chapter 1, verse 6. Paulo, chine bine barua, ya jiwa andi kilaba bali ba imiya na emu mulimu guokubu lile njiri kati. Njaka ulabe, muba Filipi emu mokaga kati. Being confident of this very thing that he that hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Agamanti ranka kasiza dala ngu yatandi ko mulimu omulunji mumwe ali gutukiriza okutusa kulunako lwa Yesu Kristo. Man, I hear people use this all of the time and say I am confident that God is going to continue the good work that he began in you. Umanye mpulira nya abantu nga bako iso cha wandikwa chino gamanti ah nzikiriza dala tikatonda agenda ku kutukiriza ogo mulimu omulunji ko yatandi kamugwe. Well, let me say this. I know that God wants to continue the good work. I know that that is God's will. Neka nkugambe bwenti nti manyide dalanti katonda ayagala okutukirizo muli mwogo ate manyide dalanti kwagala kwa katonda God is not willing for a single person watching this program right now to lose the things that God has spoken to you and done in your life Ida nzikiriza dalanti katonda tayagala muntu ye nawo ya program ene sawe eno kulabanga ofiru obano tafuna ebyo nabyo na katonda byogedde mbula mwogo I know beyond any shadow of a doubt that God is a good God and he wants to continue and perform that good work that he began. But era manyide dalanti katonda katonda mulunji era yagala okweyongera yongera nga akole ekyo kintu ekirunji kye yatandika mugwe na ye. I am not confident that every person watching this program is going to have God perform it. Not because God doesn't will to do it, but because we have to cooperate. Sika kasanti buli muntu ye nawo lira program eno anaga nyakatonda okola okwagala kwe mu bulamu bwe rwachi kubanga siku buli omu kufe nti yetegese okulabanga asse chimu ne katonda God will doesn't just automatically come to pass in your life Kubanga okwagala kwa kana tukujja buziwe kutyo mu bulamu bwo Jesus said it this way seek and you will find Erola bantu ne Yesu yagamba bwati nti nonya onazula Knock and it'll be opened unto you. You've got to participate. You've got to seek the Lord. Ulaba ya gama nti konko na onagulibwa u. Ocheba oteke duo kuchenye giramu. Oteke duo kunonya katonda. A passage of scripture that's become very popular and you'll hear it quoted a lot. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. Irecha wa nikiwe bisede bisinga. Acheba singo kubanga. Bo gere nyo. Chirimu yeremi ya bilimu muenda. Kuminarumu. I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of good and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Or I think it's the NIV that says a hope and a future. 
Uh, olugama antino kubanga manye biru wozo bie ndo wozo jemuli bie Bwa yogera mukame biru wozo bie mirembe So sibi ya bubi Okubawa evi omu maso Nesubi Eroku vunula kuna okuli mu, uh, mu King James Ndoza kwe kugamba ele subi elio And people quote that all of the time and I do believe that God has good plans for every person, every single person, but not every person is going to experience those good plans. You know why? Because in verse 13, he goes on to say, Then you shall seek me, and you shall find me, when you shall search with all of your heart. Yes, God has good plans for you. God never made a piece of junk. Chitu ufuka tonda ina plani enuji jori. Ila katonda tale kitako langa yomu untunti ono ya lemeriruwa. It is not God's will for a single person watching this program to live a life of struggle and hurt and pain. Ila katonda tekuwa nkuku wa gala kwebuli munti ena aulia programu eno. Nti abide wa mbulumi mkuna kuwala owa mkunyigirizibwa. He has good plans for you, but it doesn't automatically come to pass. You have to cooperate. You have to seek the Lord. Omukisa guguno eri gwe wenna ayagalo gende ebuziba mu kigambo kya katonda obweleza bwa Andrew Macbook tusako omusomo gwa discipleship ngo omusomo guno gwa mitendere esatu gabuli mutendera gujja kutwale emyeze ebiri ebiri amauli ama lunji galenti omutendero ogusoka gwonna gwa bwerere ngambi omutendero ogusoka gwonna gwa bwerere omusomo guno gugenda kutandika ku rock 5 nga 2 omwezo gwo munana esawa zigenda kubera 10 paka sawe m ezaka ungezi buliru akutana wanembalala ku Acacia Country Inn yali manyikidwanga Kosia Hotel osobola ku wandisa ngo kuba obango ita ku WhatsApp ku number ya Airtel ya 0200330000 ngambi ya 0200330000 enzijinzi gule eri gwo musumba eri tata eri mama eri omukozi yenna era na buli muntu yenna ayagalo gende buziba mu kumanya katonda oweredwa nyo omukisa Oliwe mbalala nebitundu ebili na anyewo. Oline nduwa deyo mbili nebido wozo. Ngane subili kuwedemu. Echo kudamu chichino. Karis Bible College. Ekutusa kaba wede za abenja ulo. Okupamu kuangale South Africa. Abagendo kuwede za joli mkwenye zewa. Wamuno kusomesa. Engeli josobo lo kwenye amuwa balala. Olukungana lo kwenye zewa luno. Luke na kubayo kuna kuruo kutano. Enakuzo umwezi inga satu. Umwezi kuwa muna ana. Bili abili muena. Ngambie. Onakuru gena kwa luwa kutano. Enakuzo umwezi inga satu. Umwezi kuwa muna ana. Bili, abili muena, esawa, zigena kubela kuminemu, paka sawa kuminabili nechitundu, ezaka ungezi. Wano kumakaga Karis Bible College in Balala, ku Akasha Country Inn, abasinga, jimwari mumanyinga Kosia Hotel. Jangungo subiro kwenye wako, kubanga Bible yetu gamba, ndi amanyinga katonda wegali okukuonya. Andrew Mac Ministries and Caris Bible College Uganda invites you to enroll for the 2025 school intake for both our campuses in Kampala or in Imbara City. Please apply online on our website karisuganda.net or visit our head office at Park Royal Mall 6th floor along Buganda Road. For more inquiries, please call us on 0200-33-0000. Caris Bible College, taking the gospel as far and as deep as possible. Gowe na ngo imi ya nobuwe de zabu no mubien simbi. Obango ya galo kutandu koku imi ya nobuwe de zabu no era mubien simbi. Tuku anjuli de nkole ene mpia. Eiti wa eya flex pay. Ngeira enkole ene ekola weti. Nyiga star bili muenda emu hash ku MTN oba ku Airtel. Orondeko namba bili eya pay merchant. Teka mu enambe eno wa manga. Mokaga zero 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 muenda tano. Teka mu omuendo kwa sente zoweleza. Teka mu ensonga ntipata na ship na manya gogombi kakasa anti osindika sente ku AWM partnerships awuluva nyuma otekemu pin code ya mobile money yo oweredwa nyo omukisa webale kuuliza program ya fe ya gospel truth 
tukiriza anti oweredwa nnyo mukisa okuyita mukusomesebwa kuno obango yagala tusabe ko nawe oboli na ekibuzo cyo na oboli no bujulizi kwecho katonda chako zo kuyita ku program weno tukubire ko kunaba ze simu zino wa manga 0200-330-000 Ngambie, eri 0200-330-000 Kuluo kwa gala kwa katondo kutaliko kumojoli Tuogiro mkisa kwa katonda Tuogire nkula akulana Ila tuogiro kwenye zewa Mulinyari ya mkamafe yesu Owele duanyo mkisa